This is Caleb with Integrity Home Inspections. I am at 4142 Northeast 125th Place in Portland, Oregon, doing a sewer scope from the clean out on the front side of the condo out to the city main line and the street. So already the camera is underneath a pretty significant amount of standing water uh, that kind of looks like it's just sitting in the sewer line. So I'll continue to push the camera and see where um, this uh, standing water, if it comes out or not, or if it's just standing water through the entire line. So we're now uh, over 40 feet out into the line and um, there's still just standing water in the sewer line. I mean there's no coming out of it. Um, so this is going to be a really big hazard for, um, it's eventually going to rot through the bottom part of the line because cast iron and water, um, they'll just uh, rust through the line. Um, and also it's a really big hazard for catching debris on the way out to the main line and clogging the sewer line. So I'm going to continue to push and see if I can um, get to a point where the camera could actually see inside the line. But so far still about 52 feet out. I haven't been able to see any condition whatsoever in the sewer line. And this is as far as my camera is going to allow me to push. Uh, again, I have no idea where the camera is actually at. I can't even, um, I wasn't able to see anything uh, through the entire 75 feet of the scope. Um, so the sewer line is definitely in failing condition. Uh, the amount of standing water in the line, uh, it's probably already rotted through the bottom of the line, or it's just on the verge. Uh, so this line's definitely going to need to be replaced for the entirety of it. Especially since there's standing water as soon as it reaches the clean out, there's probably standing water inside the sewer line underneath the crawl space of the home as well. Um, so when the home buyer or the seller goes to get this portion fixed, they should probably check the uh, condition of the line underneath the home because uh, there's a good chance that there's standing water underneath the home as well. So now we're beginning to see the outside portion of the line um, and you can just see the bottom half of the sewer line is completely rotted through. I mean there's not much left there that's going to um, keep it from rotting through the entirety of the line. There may have been a clog in the line, that's why it's doing this, because uh, the water is turned off inside the house, so there should not be any water flowing. So I may have actually hit a clog in the line. Um, where it wasn't allowing the water to drain completely. Um, but it looks like now um, the water is beginning to drain. So I'm just going to keep the camera head here for a little while and see if I uh, don't see the water just completely drain from the line.
So I went and located this position. It's in front of the house. You can see uh, what's actually kind of in that little driveway area. There's condos here, so um, it's in that um, mutual driveway uh, where all the garage doors are. Uh, you can see a cut in the um, in the road, um, and that's right in the middle. So I'm going to pull the camera back uh, because this may be in partly um, this may be already partly the main line. Um, so I'm going to pull back just a ways and see uh, if most of that water is drained from the line now. So there was another clog in the sewer line, um, which uh, is telling me I think uh, the sewer line is more likely clogged than has uh, than has a, um, a grading issue where the water is not draining from the line. Because um, now I'm underwater again and I can't tell if um, the line connects at a certain point or um, where. Because uh, I've had the water running off inside the house, so and there was water continually running, so I may be in a portion of um, a sewer line that's all connected uh, throughout these condos, but I just I can't tell at all with the water uh, standing in the line like this. This concludes the sewer scope video inspection. In my opinion, the sewer line is in failing condition due to the extensive uh, standing water throughout the entire line. Uh, again, it could be because the line's not graded properly, or it's possible that there's just um, a pretty significant clog in the line, uh, which is creating the standing water backup. Uh, but really, um, because there was so much standing water throughout the entirety of the line, I couldn't tell where one person's jurisdiction starts with another's or where two lines connect to one uh, because we are in condos and my guess is that uh, they're all going to tie into one line and then go out to a main line uh, but because of all this water in the line I couldn't really tell anything um, but it is in the mean failing condition again uh, just for all that standing water and debris uh, I'll put this all throughout the report and email the report along with the video inspection to the agent and buyers Thank you for choosing integrity and have a good day.